We're supposed to use the word projected, but yes. of course it'll be Notre Dame against the winner of Alabama and Georgia yes. for the national title game on ESPN. But Notre Dame unbelievably pulls it off. An undefeated season. They beat USC. No Matt Barkley. Manti Teo always classy, shaking his hand before the game. Here comes Notre Dame. 4-0 on the road this year. A couple of neutral site games where they were the home team. Of course, Matt Wittick. Gets the start for Barkley out with that injured shoulder. Everett Golson under center for the Irish. First quarter, MD up 3 0 in a very impressive drive to start the game. Kicked a field goal. Here's third and 10. Safety Josh Shaw on the tight end, Tyler Eifert. That's a mismatch 6 6 against 6 1. Post me up. And make a nice catch there with a good pair of mitts. Later, second and eight at the nine. Theo Riddick was outstanding. 20 carries, 146 yards, 7.3 yards a carry. Fans in South Bend, fans everywhere. They're in South Bend, they're at Feeney's house in Ohio, they're at bars in Miami and they're Naples, at your house? everywhere. Oh, my house is empty. Oh, okay. Back to Wittick. Boy, the kid definitely showed a great right arm. It's Robert Woods there. Woods had seven catches in the game. Marquise Lee only had five in the game. Here's Wittick again. Look at that. That is a gorgeous post route as he finds Woods. So USC cuts the lead to 10 to 7. Notre Dame kept getting in the Renzo, but they kept kicking field goals. Back to Golson. He was under duress most of the game. USC applied very good pressure here. This is late in the first half. He almost held onto the ball too long, grabbed his hamstring. He's cramping a bit, but Notre Dame does have time to try a 52 yard field goal. Kyle brings up. Oh, a little soft draw. Beautiful. That's a big kick. That makes it 16 to 10. Again, lots of field goals in this game. Seven field goals in the game. Only two touchdowns. Back to Wittick. Mentioned Marquise Lee. Oh, that's Manti Teo. What a great job by Teo to look over his shoulder, anticipate the route, jump it, and make the big pick. Seventh pick of the year. Irish up 19 to 10. Early fourth quarter. Another good throw by Wittick. Hits Woods for the first town. Now third and goal at the four. They need a touchdown down by nine. Wittick, pose, in. But the whistle was blown right before the snap. Wayne Kiffin calls timeout. Are you kidding oh, me? No, I'm not kidding. So they settle for a field goal. 19-10 as that pass is incomplete. So now it's 19-13. Oh, yep. Denny's menu in hand. 19-13, ensuing kickoff. George Atkinson, the third. Great return. Takes it out. 39 yards to the 44. Back to Riddick. I mentioned 7.3 yards to carry. Look at that move. 20 rushes, 146 yards. Riddick, fourth game this year with 100 yards rushing. Notre Dame again deep deep in USC territory but once again they have to settle for a field goal but it is a nine point game so a two score game USC needs a big play and guess what they get it there's Lee finally 53 yards but from here there's 540 left it took USC forever to try to score look now we're down to 318 and they're still not in the end zone they needed to score right away hold Notre Dame and make them punt but instead now it's fourth and goal with two and a half minutes to go and they don't get it incomplete even if they did get it it took them forever almost three minutes to go two yards Brian Kelly incomplete and Titeo feels it closing seconds of the game Notre Dame with that stop they know it's theirs USC no timeouts left the handshake at halftime and they get it done 22 to 13. They finished the year 12 and 0. USC on third down, one for seven. Matt Wittick was 13 to 22, just 177 yards. Notre Dame does a good job on Marquise Lee, the one big play, but other than that, only four catches the entire game. Riddick ran well, 20 carries, 146 yards. Next stop for Brian Kelly and Notre Dame, Miami.